My name is H.J. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. Hit subscribe right this second. You want to watch this channel. We have a new attorney general, like, I, like I've been saying for what, over well, about half a year now, about seven, eight months. A little over half a year, I've been saying that Sessions is on his way out. Sessions will be gone. Mueller probe is slowly ending. That too, um, I had the pulse of what's going on regarding that. Whitaker, Matthew Whitaker, has stated that Hillary Clinton should have been indicted, that there's no evidence of collusion or obstruction, which is everything that I've been saying. <laughs> so it's kind of like having you or me as attorney general. It's unbelievable. Jeff Sessions was an abomination. This man is, like, amazing. Hit subscribe. We're almost at 125,000. We'll be at over 125,000 by tomorrow. This is a Des Moines Register article. Whitaker, the new attorney general, Matt Whitaker, appeared on CNN. He appeared on CNN, the trusted news and so in the trusted source of news. Whitaker appeared on CNN in June 2017 and called Mueller a well-respected lawyer, but said there was no evidence, no public evidence of obstruction of justice or collusion by Trump or his campaign. Quote. Well, because I'm a former prosecutor, I know how investigations go, and I know that we know publicly there's not enough, there's not evidence for it. There's not just enough evidence, sorry. There's not evidence for a case, but certainly Mueller has all the power of the federal government now to conduct an investigation, and he may turn over things that we just haven't, uh, haven't heard about yet. He also, he, he also said Trump acted appropriately in firing Former FBI Director James Comey, that firing is thought to be under investigation by Mueller's possible obstruction of justice. His conversation with James Comey, quote, his conversation with, with James Comey about the Mike Flynn investigation and together with, firing, uh, with the firing of Director Comey, those are both well within his power of the executive, Whitaker said. So he said, quote, I know that what we know publicly, there's not enough for a case so he stated on CNN, quote, I know that what we know publicly, there's not enough for a case. And, quote, his conversation with James Comey about the Flynn investigation and together with firing of, doc, of Director Comey, those are both well within his power of the executive. Look, they tried to get Trump on the process on a uh, technicality, a judicial or legis uh, sorry, a, a legal technicality. This guy was like a line. Was he a linebacker? He used to be a linebacker, I think, for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Anyway, June two thousand and seventeen. The attorney general doesn't fire Bob Mueller, but just reduces his budget. Uh, uh, t uh, so low that his investigations grind to almost half, uh, to almost a halt. So Whitaker could see a scenario where the attorney general doesn't fire Bob Mueller, but just reduces his budget to, uh, so low that his investigations grind to almost a halt. So this is a like-minded person. This is somebody who is going to um, have Trump's back. You need that, and President Trump needs to act. He's also stated other claims. He's made other claims regarding Mueller being ridiculous or Mueller not having any justification for existence in terms of evidence. There's no evidence of anything. There's no evidence of a crime. There's no evidence of collusion. There was, you can't have obstruction of justice without a crime. What they've done is they have, um, they have turned minutia. Democrats have turned minutia into, into um, potential crimes or obstruction of justice. Well, you know, you spoke about the Mike Flynn investigation, and then you then you fired James Comey. Well, James Comey was part of a cover up with Clinton emails, and Rod Rosenstein actually wrote. The justification to fire Comey. Yeah, but he was right about to find something. He was right about to find something. He was investigating you for Trump-Russia collusion. 
And from day one, James Comey stated that Trump was never the target of an investigation. So you can, I'll put this Des Moines Register article below. But the new attorney general has stated there's no evidence of collusion. There's no evidence of obstruction because there isn't. And what we know now was that James Comey, Andrew McCabe, especially Andrew McCabe and Peter Strzok, were part of a cover-up where they um, communicated, where they um, articulated or communicated or shared information with the media. There were liberal journalists that we know had communication with FBI agents to publish stories, and those FBI agents used published stories to then justify FISA warrants. The Steele dossier, which was purchased by Hillary Clinton, the DNC is now, uh, the D BuzzFeed is now suing the DNC because it's being sued for defamation by a Russian uh, entrepreneur, by Russian bankers. There's nothing, the overall, the premise, the, the, the major claims of the Steele dossier have been absolutely debunked. Carter Page, George Papadopoulos, Paul Manafort, and Michael Cohen did not conspire with the Russians or Russian intelligence to undermine Hillary Clinton or influence the election, which is essentially what the Steele dossier talks about. That's fantasy. The, um, the bodily fluids, that's probably Bill Clinton's fantasy. So you have a situation now where you, you literally have the antithesis, the antithesis of the Keebler elf, Jeff Sessions. So, I mean, what more do you want? Especially, I mean, it, I just wish this happened earlier, but President Trump needs to act. He has the Senate. Um, and with the craziness going on now in Florida regarding the recounts, he'll still have the Senate. Debbie Wasserman Schultz can't cheat yet again in, a, in a, an election and get away with it. Let's, let's hope. But he'll have the Senate, and he'll eventually have four, he'll eventually have four senators. Um, the Republicans will have four more senators, reliable senators, four Republican senators more. So if you add the two independents plus the, um, plus the, the Democrats, Republicans will have a total of four senators. You cannot have four uh, turncoats or four Jeff Flakes. So if, God forbid, something happens with Ruth Bader Ginsburg, um, Amy Coney Barrett could be on deck. That's my last segment. And they won't be able to stop anything. They won't be able to stop a new attorney general because that goes through the Senate. And they won't be able to stop a new Supreme Court justice that goes through the Senate. Also, confirmations go through the Senate. So whereas I made a big deal about the House, that actually the, the Senate is the most important aspect, the most important victory, only five times in the past 105 years. So true power in terms of, let's say, uh, they try to, they get impeachment through the House, it'll get blocked by the Senate. The, the Senate is the ultimate buffer zone from Democratic, uh, to, to protect Trump from Democratic insanity, and also to give him the power to do what he, what he wants. So Democrats are behind. Uh, there are Democrats are up the creek as usual. Um, give me your thoughts below. We have a new attorney general, and the new attorney general has stated categorically there's no evidence. There was never any evidence. I've been saying this while other pundits were saying, "Oh yeah, he's going to be. Uh, he's, he's he's not going to. He's not going to last a year because of the Russia probe." People have made a lot of money talking about the Russia probe. Fine. But you know what they did is they tried to plunge this country into a second Cold War. And these are the same pundits, especially on the left, that say, oh, we're fighting the oligarchy. We're fighting, um, we're fighting, uh, we're, we are, we're really anti-war. No, you're not. You work with people or you, you are, help promote a second Cold War because poor Hillary lost. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right this second. We finally have an attorney general who will represent for you and for me and for President Trump. Thank you. Hit subscribe right now.